from ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create an interactive Excel chart graphing the outer 2% tails of the normal distribution's probability density function. And we can see these two outer tails are purple in color. And there are two parameters in the normal distribution, the mean and the standard deviation. Let's, so let's vary those and see the effect that it has in our chart. Let's take the mean, that would be Greek letter mu, change it from 0 to 3, and there it is. Hit enter and that's reflected on the chart. And standard deviation, sigma, change that from 1 to 2 and we can watch standard deviation length change in our chart. So let's put the original numbers back in there. Mean of 0, standard deviation of 1, and that's our original chart. That's what we're going to create. An interactive chart with the two outer tails, 2% outer tails highlighted. Let's see how we do that. Well, the first thing we want to do is create the columns of data for the x and y axes. First column of data we're going to create is going to start with negative 30 and go all the way down to plus 30. We're going to center that. And the way we create that is put the cell in the next, put the cursor in the next cell, and that formula will be the preceding cell plus 1 and we're going to drag that down. So put the cursor in the cell and then move the cursor to the corner until a cross appears like that and drag the cell down. There we go. Alright, and the next three cells, those blue cells, we're going to be dragging those formulas down too. Those three right there. And let's remove the blue color so we don't drag the blue color down and we'll take a look at the contents of each of those cells see what those formulas are. In cell C56, that is the formula in cell C56. And in cell D56, there it is. Let's get a close up of that. Move the cursor. D56. And let's take a look at E56. That's the actual probability density function for the first series of Y data. And there's the formula in there. And these three cells will have formulas that will be dragged down. And let's take a look at the input for the probability density function, the two user inputs, and the x-axis. That's what it should be. Erase those arrows. And we're going to drag those formulas down. So put the cursor in the corner and drag that block of cells down. There you have it. We have the data for the first series uh, of Y data. Now we're going to create the numbers for the second, se the second Y series. And that blue square down there, the blue cell, has a formula and that's it. F62. There's the formula in F62. And we've placed the blue cell down there for a reason, as we'll see in a minute. But now what we're going to do is drag that formula up and down so it looks like the Series 1 data column. Basically what this graph that you just saw is, is two graphs on top of each other. The Series 1 data graph is on the bottom and the Series 2 data graph is on the top. to do right now is create a chart. This is Excel 2003, so it's a insert chart. It's an area chart. The first variation of that area chart. Hit next. Data is in columns. And we're going to insert the first series of Y data. We're just going to label that series 1. And then we're going to put the values in there, so delete what's in that box. Hit the square in the corner and go select the Series 1 data. And this will be used to create a graph that will sit on the bottom. Series 2 data graph will sit on the top. There it is. It's blue colored. That's the Series 1 data. Now we're adding Series 2 data. We'll label that Series 2. Delete what's in the box. Hit the square in the corner. And go select all of the Series 2 data just like that. And once you've selected it all, go and hit the square in that dialog box, and you'll see the new graph, the Series 2 graph, is now sitting on top of the original. And we're going to get the 
X data. So hit that little square and then go select all of the X axis data, just like that. Hit the square in the dialog box. Now we have the X axis data and the two graphs for the Y axis. We're going to label that chart normal distribution, probability density function, outer 2% tails. There it is. And we'll label the x-axis. Next. Just label the x-axis. X. Next. Okay, hit finish. There's the chart. We're not finished yet. Almost. Well, let's drag this almost completed chart and put it right on top of the current chart. So we'll put our new chart on top of the old chart. Resize it so we cover everything. There we go. Resize it a little bit more. Okay. Now, what you see here are two graphs, one on top of the other. Let's create the outer tail. So what we want to do is zero out the cells on the end of the top graph so that the bottom graph can show through. And the bottom graph will be our outer tails. So we put a zero in there. And if you recall, cell F62 was blue. Now you can kind of see why we did that. That would have been the top cell of this row of data. And we're going to zero out the bottom end of this graph as well. The bottom 2% of the graph. Now let's take a look at the graph. Those changes will be reflected in the graph. There it is. A little bit hard to see. The outer tail is blue. And the inner 96% of the graph is purple. Let's fix those colors to make it like the original graph was. So click on the purple center part and let's change that purple from purple to blue. Hit OK. And now we're going to change the outer tail. Be careful if you hit the wrong part of that graph as we just did we've changed the background. Let's go change that background into a color that is normal background like gray. So hit the background select gray. Now we're going to be careful and select the outer tail and change that color to purple. There we go. Now the outer tail is much more visible. And let's check the interactivity of our graph. Change the mean from 0 to 3. And watch that reflected in the chart. There it is. Change standard deviation from 1 to 2. And we'll see the length of standard deviation changes from 1 to 2. There it is. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of eManuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash eManual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.